Welcome back to Africa 54. Joining us uh, for our Africa Health Network report is health correspondent uh, Lino Mudu. Hello, Lino. Hello, Vincent. Hello, everyone. Well, a former supermodel was in Germany recently to open a clinic to treat victims of female genital cutting. Thirty-four years old, Senai Demis is from Ethiopia. She is expected to be the first patient to be treated at the Desert Flower Center. I remember little when the girl she is bleeding. Uh, after they make them sleep, come to me and they want to catch me. I run. I'm little and I run. They catch me. After that, I don't remember. Demis underwent female genital cutting or mutilation, also called FGM or FGC, when she was only a child. She is at the center with the hope to reverse it. The Desert Flower Center is situated at a hospital in the southern Berlin district of Zellendorf. It will not only offer medical treatment to victims of FGM, but also plastic surgery, as well as psychosocial therapy and counseling. Tomorrow it will be operation. Yeah, I come for this. I want to reconstruct it back. The World Health Organization estimates that about 140 million girls and women have undergone FGM. The practice consists of the partial or total removal of external female genitalia. It is prevalent in several African countries and parts of the Middle East and Asia. It is carried out for cultural, religious and social reasons and is also known as female circumcision. Dr. Roland Scherer, the head surgeon at the center, says the mix of publicity and expertise at the clinic has been the key to its success. It is very good to combine these two things, uh, making awareness, but also a real and very pragmatic way to help. Somali actress, model and human rights campaigner Waris Dirie is the UN Special Ambassador for the Elimination of Female Genital Mutilation. Her organization, the Desert Flower Foundation, co-founded the center. The foundation seeks to end FGM by raising public awareness and offering support to the victims. During the opening event, Diria could not hide her emotions. She was also a victim of FGM. We suffer when we make love. We, they suffer when they give giving birth. They suffer when, for all this. And it's like, I don't understand where in the name of God Whoever made this up was the most cruel human being I could, could exist in the planet. But the worst part is, in such a day, this is still goes on. The United Nations General Assembly adopted a resolution in December 2012 urging countries to ban the practice of FGM. Medical experts say it causes bleeding, shock, cysts, and infertility, as well as severe psychological effects. That's our Africa Health Network report for today. For more health news and developments, be sure to visit our website, africahealthnetwork.com.